In this tutorial video, we'll have a look at how to obtain the structure of aspartyl tRNA synthetase from the PDB data bank. So PDB data bank is maintained by RCSB. You can use the link that I have provided in the slides or you can directly go to Google and just type RCSB PDB, which will bring you to the first hit there and that's the home page for the protein data bank. We already know the accession code or the PDB ID, so we can type 1IL2 that's specific for aspartyl tRNA synthetase. Click on the link and it leads you to the structure summary page where you'll find a lot of information about the structure. So on the left there's a representation for the biological assembly and then on top you have the PDB ID and then the description of the complex followed by the experimental method that was used to solve the complex that's X-ray diffraction and the resolution is 2.6 angstrom. At the bottom of the page, you will have the publication that led to the solution of the structure. There are other informations as well, like 3D view and annotations and experiment that are the specifics for the experimental method that was used to solve the structure. And the sequence information as well, like the secondary structure, where are the domains for the secondary structure and what do they mean? So first we'll go ahead and download the file in the PDB format. So we click on download files and go to the PDB format. Once we click on it, it will ask you to save the structure in a certain directory. The directory that I have here is the workspace one that's specific uh, for, for this tutorial. So I've made separate workspaces, which you guys should do as well. And it will be very handy to, you know, keep a record of everything that you're doing out here. So we'll go along and save it. And as you can see, it automatically recognized the file format as .pdb. So as I've said before, the PDB file is nothing but a text format that has the representation for the 3D coordinates in the XYZ direction. So we can actually open that file in the text editor. So you can use your favorite text editor to open the file. We'll just have a quick look at the structure and the editor that I use out here is specific for my system in Mac that's called GVIM but you can also use uh, notepad in Windows to open the structure use my command line interface from the terminal which will open the file in the text format so as you can see there's this header information title compound source author experimental data and the remarks for the structure specific domains specific regions treasure trove of information which we'll go through in detail in our characterization tutorial that we'll have for the next week specific for the x-ray crystallography but for now just note down that the atomic representation starts from this place here where the first column stands for the atoms the second column stands for the atom number the third one stands for atom name the fourth one stands for the specific residue name it's generally a three-letter code but uh, here it's u because of the uh, nucleotide sequence that you have in the structure that's tRNA and followed by the chain representation and the residue numbers this is further followed by the 3d representation of the structure in the XYZ coordinate so these are the X coordinate Y coordinate and Z coordinate so we'll use chains A for the study which is basically the aspartic acid bound aspartyl tRNA synthetase 